Salam alaikum. Today we are in Al Balad in Jeddah. We are so excited to be exploring this area today. We're going to have a look at some of the historical houses and cultural sites. And I'm also on the lookout for a new rug. Inshallah, we will find a rug today. We are Kylie, Casper and Ella, an Aussie Danish family living in Saudi Arabia. Our plan is to document our travels around this beautiful country. If you would like to follow us on our journey, make sure to subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram so you don't miss out on any of our adventures. So we are currently walking along the road that pilgrims used to take as a route to go to Mecca. They would first board um, along the coast, which is very close to here, and use it as like a gateway to Mecca. So many of the houses are quite old and run down, but this one, even though it's still very old, looks like it's been maintained very well. Um, you can see all the shutters are still intact and all the wood has been restored very well. So we are at the uh, Nasif House Museum and we just read that uh, it actually used to be the residence of King Abdul Aziz. He was the founder of Saudi Arabia, so he lived here for three years. It also said on uh, one of the sites we read that uh, the house was actually constructed so he could ride his horse straight into the house. That is really cool. <laughs> it's a really nice area actually, and look at the beautiful tree. Look at all the uh, geometric patterns. It's really cool how they use like the different shapes. So apparently they make a lot of the wooden lattice in here behind me for restoration of the buildings. Whoa. That looks very, very old. <laughs> so I'm just wondering, would they have a horse or a camel at the front? <laughs> I'm just inside the courtyard of the Masjid Shafi Mosque here in Al Balad and uh, yeah, it's a really fascinating mosque actually. So it has a prayer room right next to the uh, courtyard that you see here in the background. You can also see the old minaret which apparently is about 800 years old. And this mosque is one of the oldest ones that you will find here in Al Balad and in Jeddah in general. It's about 1400 years old. Hello! Hi! So it's around 3.30 in the afternoon at the moment and it's very quiet here in Al Balad. So it really seems like most people come out and about when it gets a bit kind of closer towards sunset and it cools down a bit. But at the moment most of the shops are actually closed so that also means all the shutters are actually closed. So it looks really good for photography because you can see all those wooden shutters in the pictures so yeah it looks really fascinating. Just saw this little girl running through all the pigeons and I had to get involved. There are still three entry gates here to the old town and uh, there also used to be a wall around the, the old town so quite amazing actually to picture that but uh, that wall is not here anymore. So in this street here they certainly have uh, a lot of meat, lots of vegetables and also a lot of clothes and sandals, all sorts of things really. So yeah, very interesting street. Okay, we've just spotted a place with lots of dates. Certainly lots of different varieties of dates here, that's for sure. Wow. <laughs> Would you like to go on a date with me? Sure, this can be my second date I've ever tried. So. I think this is the street with all the dates. One shop with dates after the other. Which <laughs> shop do you want to pick? Hello. Hi. Welcome. Oh, oh thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. It's uh, Safawi, Medina. Medina date. Ah. Okay. Uh, mm. Fresh. Mm. Very chewy. Nice though. Mm. It's Medina. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I do like dates from uh, Al Qasim. One kilo, twenty real. Twenty real. Yeah. Okay. Can we try? Try. This one. Uh, yeah, I'll probably try one of those. This. Yeah. Mm. Slightly different consistency. Which one do you like better? Oh, this I one. Think I like the this one. This one's a bit easier to eat. It's softer. Mm. Yeah. We'll Let's do one kilo. One, one kilo? kilo? This yeah. one, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. They were so sweet. 
<laughs> really nice. Maybe now we need to find some Arabic coffee to go with our dates. Yeah, we might have to. <laughs> Let's see if we can find a coffee shop. Yes. So what is that you're selling there? For? Oh, to chew on. Teeth? Oh. Clean the teeth? Oh. <laughs> so what do you do? So you just... I like guess, yeah? Yeah, ah. <laughs> It's strong. <laughs> so like a toothbrush? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How you going, Casper? Hmm, interesting flavor. <laughs> okay. A bit right. different to, to, I guess, the toothbrush in Colgate. <laughs> Very strong. <laughs> so you make like a oh. toothbrush. Yeah, yeah. You make like a little toothbrush. Yeah. Mm. 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 <laughs> and then you, so you squeeze it with the teeth, and then. <laughs> so what is it? I'm not sure what it is. We have to find out what this is called. Uh, if anybody knows what this is, like what type of plant this is, please tell us in the comments because, uh, yeah, we have no idea. But anyway, it's for brushing your teeth. It's some kind of root and it has a very strong flavor. Very strong flavor. Okay, oh, okay. okay. Shukran. Thank you so much. Shukran. 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 Thank you. <laughs> very interesting Thank you experience. Much. Yeah, I need to get it out of my mouth. I actually ate some. <laughs> Okay, I got it out of my mouth. Thank God, it was starting to burn. Um, that was a very interesting flavor and make sure if you know what it is or what it's actually used for and what benefits it has, make sure to comment down below. We are inside a 400 year old home and what we thought was really fascinating, the actual structure is made out of coral and you can see the different shells and coral patterns inside the wall which is really fascinating. A traditional Saudi sword, so it's um, for dancing and for the traditional dances that they do. It's not actually that heavy. It's very interesting just to see the traditional furniture. Also the ceiling as well is quite spectacular, but it's so hot in here. So we're here now in November. I can only imagine how hot it would be actually in the summer. So it's fascinating to see how the uh, walls have all these carvings. So they're obviously maintained for, for many, many years. The walls are, are made from a coral stone. So if you actually touch it, your, your fingers get all white. Really interesting to see how people used to live four or 500 years ago. And there's multiple levels. Oh wow, that's so cute. Yeah, it's a really big space. And the ceiling, look at the ceiling. And the ceiling rose. It's really, in the corner thing. It's really, really pretty. So we're checking out this cafe and it's really cute. So they've got all the kind of traditional touches with the traditional furniture and also got the original beams I can see up there. Uh, yeah, it's really cute, it has a great atmosphere. Can I just say, I absolutely love traditional Arabic music. It's just so catchy, I feel like, I don't know, it always creates a nice vibe anywhere you go, so. And would you yeah. dance to it? That's how I would dance to it. Very like shouldery. Okay, let's go. How you know Saudi tourism is expanding? The expanse in souvenir shops they've got here. They're very nice. Or is it like a Y? Siobia? Slobia? Sobia? Or is it just Sobia bar? I'm not sure. Not sure. I'm gonna go with Sobia and that the wine glass is, no, not wine that the glass is just in between. Yeah, it looks really cute inside and I can feel the air condition. I'm gonna go check it out. Come with me. Oh, it's so cute. It's so rustic. Ooh, ice cream. 
So I can see that's an ice cream and juice bar. It looks very good. They've actually got a lot of nice cafes and like small bars here, which is, it's really nice, especially when you're tired at the end of the day, you're dehydrated from the heat and just want to experience some air condition because all of them have air condition, which is amazing. So just pop into one of these bars and have a little bit of a rest. It's great. We have just stumbled across this really cute courtyard. It has a beautiful building here and you can see this beautiful tree. It's actually really hot in here today, but it's actually quite cool in this area. So yeah, it definitely gets a lot of shade from the tree and from the buildings around. But yeah, it's just a really cute courtyard. So when you walk around this Mesa street, suddenly you just get to like a little side street with a few shops. So yeah, it's, it's really nice. This is your shop? Yeah. Thank you, bye. 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 <laughs> I have to say the cats look a little creepy here. Have a look at that. Oh, poor thing. I don't think they're looked after very well here um, and it's pretty sad to see. It's really hard to look at. Yeah. Someone, go get them a home. Come on, please, go get them a home. <laughs> I'm kind of getting Aladdin vibes here. I don't know, just something about the buildings and, I don't know, my buyer, I feel like, Princess Jasmine. It's really shame, I haven't watched Aladdin in so long, so I can't really remember the songs, but there is a song, something about street rap, but here, it would be Street Cat, because <laughs> it's all street cats here. How does it go? Street rat, da 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 da, street cat. Such a great way to get around Al Balad. They have golf buggies that can take you on a tour around uh, the different sites and they've got electric scooters. Can I just say one thing? I absolutely love wearing my abaya. Lots of people say, oh, you don't have to wear an abaya. That's not really a rule anymore, but I just love wearing my abaya. And one of the reasons I love going to, into Jeddah is I get to wear my abaya. It gives me an excuse to put on my abaya. I think the abayas are very stylish and they look really nice with any outfit. It's also really great if you've had something big for lunch or dinner. <laughs> and you need to cover up because you have a food baby. Just chuck on so. a buyer and you're good to go. <laughs> just put a buyer on. Um, and sometimes it's like you don't, you don't have to worry about what to wear because it just, it always looks so stylish. I always feel so stylish in my buyer. Hello, Salam alaikum. Come and sit? Yeah, okay. You wanna come sit? Just sitting on these uh, really high, high chairs here. <laughs> we were just invited to come and sit. It's such a beautiful area here. <laughs> Thank you, Shukran. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's so hot. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Saudi people are so friendly to invite us to come and sit with them and just hang out in this beautiful area here, drink a nice cold bottle of water. It was exactly what we needed. The buildings are so beautiful and so spectacular, especially in the afternoon light. Um, you can see a bit of street art behind me as well. But I would definitely suggest if you're going to come into Al Balan, um, from our experience today, it's definitely the best in the afternoon because the light on the building is just beautiful. It is really gorgeous. And now that it's starting to get a little bit cooler, you can see more people are starting to come out. Some of the shops are starting to open. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what El Vala is going to be like at night when everything is open and everybody is out and about. It looks really amazing actually with all the old buildings and all the bay windows. I really like this area here. It's really cool. So walking around here in Al Balad is certainly a bit of a maze, but because they're doing renovation and constructions, uh, some of the streets are actually blocked off, so it makes it even more of a maze here. So uh, yeah, you have to go backwards and forwards a few times to get to where you want to go. Whoa, look at that. I 
don't know, some of the buildings, they look like pretty abandoned and like no one's lived in them for hundreds of years. So I'm kind of curious, like are all these buildings, does someone live in them or are they completely abandoned? I have no idea. Drop it down in the comments if you know. I think a lot of these shutters actually used to be coloured because uh, you can see some of the leftover colour on the shutters there. You can see some of the cracks and yeah, it's uh, definitely a, all a bit crooked and <laughs> definitely looks like it could fall down at any moment. So I think it's good that they're restoring it. Yeah, some uh, are definitely better well maintained than, uh, <laughs> than others. Yeah. Very Instagram worthy. Like it I is. feel like it is very Instagram yeah, worthy. Lots of places where you can take some really nice like photo shoots. Whoa, look at that building. Whoa, that's so cool. Oh my god. All the balconies. The bricks look like they've been like maintained here. Wow. Even though all the houses have like kind of a similar style, they're all completely different at the same time. Like they all have a different pattern or a different colour. Yeah, it's amazing. So it's really cool exploring this old historical part of Jeddah and it really is like it transports you back in time. The old buildings and the old architecture. It's a shame that a lot of things are closed but uh, yeah I'm really interesting to see what it's going to look like once it's all been renovated. They just recognised us from our time video. Really? <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time that we've been out in public and actually run into some people that are following us on our YouTube. So we've just officially met our first fans out in public. I'm so excited! But I saw the girl and I said, oh, I saw her three weeks ago in Haiti. It must be her. I think you guys need to put more videos on the internet to yes. promote uh, Saudi travels. So yeah. thanks to you guys, we've done, <laughs> th this helps with a lot of the research. Come like on, guys. subscribe to Living the Joe Life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> do it. Do what he says. Do what the man says. See you guys. Bye. See you. Well, maybe we'll see you somewhere around the world again. <laughs> okay, yalla, yalla. Let's go to the sook. <laughs> Okay, so we're just walking through one of the main streets here in Al Balad. It's really come to life now. All the shops are open now and people on the streets. It's actually getting pretty busy. I'm still on the hunt for a rug, so oh God, yeah. <laughs> I'm still looking out for that. So now that the shops are open, maybe I'll have some luck. We want like a, a rug to go under our coffee yes. table. Yeah, so it's mainly, uh, we've seen a lot of uh, clothes and garments. Suitcases. And suitcases and, yeah. and a lot of perfume shops as well. Yes, lots of Saudi oud. Yep, that's for sure. <laughs> you can smell it. It's nice to see people out and about with their families. There's some of the gold shops Ooh, over here. Gold shops. We always love some good gold shops. I do love to look at the gold shops, yes. Let's go, let's go. Hello. It's like a fragrance for the house and, and I think like you can rock. you can burn it it's like a rock so he's like chopping it up so that you can um, yeah burn it and smell it so I think like in that little there's like a little canister back there uh, if you know what that is please put it in the comments below and educate us yes. <laughs> this is definitely spices that we have over here definitely been renovated a little bit. I mean, you can still see like the old structures here yeah it's really cool So we finally made it to a cafe and it's very very cute it's in one of the old buildings and you can see it's got like the rustic vibe however it has been like renovated so it's kind of got a modern feel to it as well that was certainly a delicious coffee loved it very nice and refreshing after walking around Al Balad all day and yeah, gave us some good energy. So let's go to the next place. Okay, we're on the hunt for a rock. Thank you. Okay, so it doesn't seem like there is any luck finding a carpet or a rug here in Al Balad. So if you know the best place in Jeddah to buy a carpet or rug, please let us know in the comments. Okay, yeah, definitely the fabric area. They have some really nice buyers in this area, some colored ones, which we like. We like the colorful ones for all your fabric needs. 
<laughs> Who do you think, Casper? Yeah, there's a good vibe in here. Certainly material they're selling here everywhere. So all sorts of dresses and yeah. Yeah, it's very colourful. <laughs> so that was a pretty cool area. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, it's very nice. I feel like I've had such a sensory overload today. There's yeah. just so, like, so much to look at here. Yes, there is a lot to look at. Yeah. So they have lots of nice Abaya shops. So we just found one right now. So let's go have a look. Mahaban, salam alaikum. Yeah, they have beautiful Abayas here. So pretty. Okay. <laughs> probably good if um, you want to avoid being sunburned, mm -hmm. yeah. especially when you're getting a bit kind of sparse up the top here. <laughs> it's good to kind of <laughs> cover up. You have blue color? I have this one. Okay, Which... yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay, let's yeah. try that one. Okay. It needs to come with instructions of how to actually put it on. We'll have to watch this footage later <laughs> to see how it was done. That looks so good. Need a mirror to have a look at myself. Mashallah. What do you think? Is it a keeper? I like it. I like it. Okay. Yeah. I am so unhappy with very nice. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, let's get it. Habibis. Yes. Habibis. <laughs> yeah, good service. Thank you so much. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mama. <laughs> okay, tell me what you think. <laughs> uh, maybe I need some advice on how to to make the head scarf. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So we just walked into <laughs> a shop just to have a look at a scarf and uh, look what we ended up getting. <laughs> We, we are all like great. dressed up, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that was a lot of fun. He was so sweet and so nice uh, and very generous. Wouldn't actually let us pay for these ones. Yeah. That was very nice of him. It was very nice, yeah. yeah. So yeah, we're all dressed up for the occasion now. Yeah. <laughs> now I really feel like Princess Jasmine wearing the scarf and walking through uh, our blood. Okay, so we're walking into another house right now. Uh, very curious to see if this one was similar to the other one that we walked into. So let's go have a look. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, so it's free of charge. You don't need any tickets or anything, so that's good. Okay, so we're going into this little courtyard right now. Huh, that's so cool. What was the name of the house? The Baashin house, that's okay. the name. So it's really nice, this courtyard here. Yeah. So this courtyard here is actually an open air place where people can come in and worship. So when you look at the facade, you can see that's made out of cold stone as well. So just like the other house we saw earlier today. I think now we're going to try find a, another coffee house and try some Arabic coffee. Should we try an Arabic coffee? Yep. Okay. okay. So there is also an air conditioned area in this cafe which is very nice, might be sitting in here. So cute, I love how all the different cafes and like houses are decorated with like traditional kind of rustic old styles. So it's really nice. Oh my God, wow. I feel very royal seeing these chairs. So it's actually quite a large cafe. Um, there's obviously a lot of rooms you can walk into yeah. and they have an upstairs area too. So uh, let's go up and have a look and check out the view. Yes. Oh, wow, that's really nice up here. Wow. Oh my God, it's so cute up here. Wow. It's actually a really nice view of the buildings. Kali and Abdullah. Ah, nice to meet you. Australia. Australia. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. And nice to meet you. So we just got served our Arabic coffee. I'm looking forward to trying it. Uh, when we were in Taif, we got taught the proper technique of how to pour it. So I'm going to try to do that. And if you haven't watched our Taif video, make sure to check that out.
Mmm, <laughs> it's so good. You can really taste the cardamom. And we have some dates as well, so looking forward to tasting those. Mashallah, I love Al Balad. It has such a great atmosphere and vibe here. The people and all the markets, it's just, it's amazing. Um, we would definitely recommend to come here and if there's any other places you would like us to explore in Jeddah, please let us know and we'll try and go there. And we will see you next time on Living the Jeddah Life! <laughs>